the northernmost island of Iloilo. Grabe, no? Uh, this body was excavated from Oton Municipality. Apo. And uh, it, it has a gold mass. But the original gold mass is already in the National Museum. And uh, that is only a replica. Mm. And the prints found in the coffins uh, were used by him when he was alive. And when he died, they were buried with him in his, uh, in his uh, coffin. And then uh, he is believed to be the highest leader. Okay? Because of the Sa gold mass po? he is wearing. Uh, this was uh, excavated 18th century, Good but uh, 14th, 15th centuries, the practice was already has already started. Okay. The tall jars at the back, uh, that is why we have our Museo Iloilo logo, okay. having the eyes and the nose uh, pattern on that gold mask. The tall jars at the back are also burial jars. Mm -hmm. The skeletons are also placed inside the jars, and the jars are buried on the ground were placed in the caves. Ooh. And that is a burial ore taken from San Joaquin, Iloilo. It is 53 kilometers south of Iloilo City. And these jars are already of Chinese porcelain. And these jars are for food storage for vinegar, tuba, or pago. Okay? So Lumang uh, ano style. Uh, Iloilo City was once Textile uh, capital of textile industry in the Philippines. The Ilonga women here are fond of weaving by hand fine fibers from pineapple leaves, abaca, cinnamon, and uzi. They made their textile into barong for the males and kimuna for the ladies. These were distributed to Luzon, Visayas, and Mindanao, and only the rich Filipinos can afford to buy this because they were. Uh, very expensive. Mm -hmm. But when the port of Iloilo was opened to foreign traders, the foreign traders also brought volumes of textile mm -hmm. and they sell it only in a low, low cost. So what happened to the Ilongo textile? Only very few bought because of it was very expensive. But still, we have our Hablon hand woven textile. Uh, still, we have here, we still have it here in Nyakaw or in Nyakaw Iloilo. Hmm, ginagawa pa rin po yan. Yes. Galing. Nire-rewrite na natin ngayon. Opo, yun. opo. Kasi marami nang naghahanap mm -hmm. ng mga local inong. Okay? Galing. So, the pictures at the back are the old pictures of Iloilo City. Uh, These were taken uh, before the Second World War. And that is our Moliloni, the Iloilo board. Jan. The steamship of the British steamship. We have also the Moyoloni, the Heritage House in Molo District, mm -hmm. the Iloilo National High School where Maryam Defensor, mm -hmm. uh, our senator, the late senator, also had her secondary education. And we have the International Hotel still existing in our downtown, Calyarial, Jimbasa, mm -hmm. now occupied by. Um, the Sarabia Jewelry and Concha. We also had our railway before. Okay. And that was the construction. And we also have our Haro Bridge in Haro, the old provincial capital. Have you seen the, have you gone to the provincial capital here? Apo, yan. Uh, Yung Luma. Itong sa gitna po. Yes. Uh -huh. Isn't it there? So that's, that's no longer the original structure of the capital. The original is there. Mm -hmm. the original Yung naka-front kanina. Okay. So we have the fountain there, the fountain there and that is the landmark for the zero kilometer of Ilino City. Mm, parang ano siya? Uh -huh. Ang tawag nun? West, As north, south? By the Ar Arroyo. Uh, Arroyo family. Mm. That is called the Arroyo Fountain. Arroyo Fountain. Really? Yeah. Uh, 
during the liberation time, the Second World War, um, the Philippines, uh, the Americans, if they, uh, during the liberation time, when the Americans know that there were still Japanese soldiers in a place, they dropped bomb to that place. Okay? So, Ililo, but Ililo City was never been bombed. Why? Because our governor, Dr. Fermi Karam Sr., he wrote a message on the ground using the lime powder in white saying that there were no jobs in the city. So, the pilot was able to read the message. He waved his hand and after 15 minutes, he came back and dropped that message. Okay? Will you read it? Yes. Yes. You got your message and told you. Yes. So it reads, the message says, we got your message and told headquarters. So they placed that message inside that white cloth bag and they put sand in the bag so that when dropped, it will be heavy. So that bag was picked up by our governor. That, there's also the date there, March, March, March 20, 1945, 1945, 10.15 a.m. Yes, 10.15 in the morning. morning. So, we're able to preserve, we are, going, we are able to preserve our old buildings, old churches, old structures. There is a message the, na to. That's why you still can find uh, old buildings Apo. in our country. talaga. Yes. And here at your back are the Japanese Philippine currency, the paper money of Japan that were uh, contributed by the family, uh, prominent families here in Iloilo, especially in Haro. And this were, uh, this were circulated during the Second World War. Apo. Okay. But um, after the Second World War, they could gather them again, collect them, and donate them here in the museum. But still, there were bills that were never distributed. They are still intact. They were still bundled. They were here donated by the Central Bank. Pero wala na po yung value ngayon, madam na. Wala na. Wala na kasi iba na yung ano nila. May sa mga collectors. We also have our local Ilonggo heroes who fought against mm. the Spaniards and the Americans. We have here the old uniform of uh, Captain Epifanio Concepcion and the uh, uniform exa what is exactly the uniform he is wearing here in the picture. Mm -hmm. And the search of General Perfecto Poblador and here are her, his families. Okay? So, Iloilo City, conception. I told you that now, I just repeat it. Okay. Uh, Iloilo City has seven districts. Apo. Okay. And we have here, we are right here in District 1. Oh, Iloilo Ilo Ilo City, City proper. And District 2 is here, somewhere here. And that is Montes Lapos. Mm -hmm. And District 3 is in the north, La Paz. Mm, and then palayon. next to La Paz is District 4, Haro. And then here in the, in the center is uh, District 5, Mandorio. Mm, okay. And here on our yeah. south is Five. District 6, Molo. Next Six to Molo, Molo is District 7, Arevalo. Arevalo. Oh, okay. Yun yung pito. Yes, oh, 7 galing, districts. Galing. Pang ano pala tayo ang apat? <laughs> Ngayon ko yung pinalaman. Opo. So that is District 4. 4, opo. Okay. So, here the, uh, the Belfry here on the left is the Belfry of Molo Church. It is found in Molo. Apo. District 6. And here is the Belfry of Haro. Haro. Haro Cathedral. And it is found in District 4. The center is the a uh, picture of Mia uh, Church, one of the mm. oldest churches in the Philippines. Now, uh, 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 
national heritage. Okay? So, we have here Santo Inquiero. And this is original, made in Europe. Okay? By an Italian priest. This also know? came from Molo Church. All the, all the saints here, structures, uh, statues here you can find, they were from Molo Church when Molo was uh, renovated uh, before. Ah, kaya po pala yung cemento niya. Iba why, na uh, yung ano niya. They were removed from Molo Church and they were replaced by all female uh, saints. Mm, okay. Hindi po kami Pasok nakapasok sa loob eh. Hindi when po you po. enter Molo, you can find there all the Puro saints there that are male, uh, female, female saints. And where, where can you find the Ang cute, no? male saints? Mm. Lahat ng babae sa Molo, ang lahat ng mga lalaking santo ay nasa Haro Cathedral. Oh. Amazing, no? Yes, <laughs> like, ganun po pala. <laughs> sa Cebu, hindi eh. Mix. Puntahan nga natin. May misa po kasi pagpunta namin last time. Hindi kami nakapasok. Nakakaya naman mag-ano. Pambabae pala. Galing. So, Ililus City was the first queen city of the South. Yeah. Okay? Nasa so, history talaga yan. Um, Ililus City is called, uh, is called Ililu. Why? When you look at the map of Ililu City, it shapes like a nose, nose. parang mm -hmm. ilong. <laughs> Kaya tinawag itong irong, irong. Ngayon nagiging ilo, ilo. ilo. Oh, okay. Ah, irong, irong pala siya before. Yes. Irong, irong. Ang oh, cute naman eh. Ito na. Okay. And uh, here you can find the the plates, the bottles, the white bat, the white whiskey bottles, and these were taken from the the shipwreck during the before the Second World War, mm -hmm. coming in in the ship. And the same also here in the black black whiskey bottles and the plates here. So you notice that the printing of the plates were not so clear because they were only copied from the Chinese plates. And here is the aerial view of Illino City uh, taken during uh, before the Second World War. This is how the city looks like. And here is uh, Gimaras Island mm -hmm. and the Illino Strait and the shipwreck that happened before the Second World War where this uh, relics here came from. Uh, sta uh, happened it here. Mm. Dito nalunod yung barko. Mm. Between pala ng Gimaras So who is the capital here? Capital, provincial capital somewhere there. Mm, okay. uh, this was taken off, uh, on the top of the aduana, the post office of Yung Gander. Hindi yeah. pa po. Hindi po uwi. Post office. Uh, post office. Ah, okay. Hindi ko alam. Yung sarap niyan ang Freedom Grand Stand noon. Ah, opo, Ay, opo. old Freedom opo, Grand Stand. Opo. Yung mm. building sa likod niya ay yun ang old aduana or post office. Mm. Galing. Dito po banda, Leganes po ba yan? Kasi tapat ng ano eh. Ulo ni dito siguro. Ah. Gimaras yun. Oh, di ba tapat nun na yung Leganes? Giling, no? So, the first one of the tribes of Iloilo were called Pintados because they painted their body from head to foot, both male and female, permanently tattooed their bodies. Ah, permanent they, talaga. Sometimes they imitate the design of the snake skins which means revert and the crocodile skin which means strength uh, okay but they don't exist anymore pero sa dinagyang po may nagaganyang pa oh, po no may nag, uh, cute cute nag represent ng uh -oh. tribes the first one of the 
first people to live in Iloilo, they are called Ati or Negritos. Okay? They have curly hair, they have dark brown skin, and they have these things used by them during their uh, used by them in, your, in their village. These are not their because no? No, they are original. They also have their musical instruments and they also have the, the Luzon where they found their rice. And they eat halu. Or, ano po yun? Dumayo sila o dito talaga sila pinangano? Uh, they were the first people to uh, Nag, ano dito? Stay? Nakapasok ng panay. Mm -hmm. ah. And the story, the history of the uh, Philippines and the the main China, mm -hmm. the big land uh, of China, dati daw nakadugtong. Mm -hmm. Ang ilo-ilo. May, may land bridge. Oh. Kaya lang tumaas yung tubig. Nawala yun. yun. Nasiperate ng tubig, nawala yung mga land bridge. Mm. So, naiwan itong mga first people here in Panay. Okay. Galing, no? Hindi ko alam yun. <laughs> Wandering people's life. They keep on uh, walking just to look for food. Kaya nga, wala silang permanente yung okay, uh, okay. bahay. Okay. Dala-dala yeah. yung mga mga hayop nila. Pero dito, madam, saan na po sila? Di ba may community Meron, po yan sila? ati community here ah, in Iloilo. Galing, no? So here are the local weapons of the Ilonggos. We have pangkaw or spears. They have their uh, shields and their bolos of different shapes uh, made uh, beautiful with beautiful handles made of metals. And here's the picture of the belfry of Harun the Federal destroyed by a strong earthquake in the year 1948. Yeah. Destroyed by... And that is why... Um, that was the time where the Kai Kai well, became famous. Uh, Kai Kai because uh, of the strength of the earthquake, parang pinaykayan yung ng manok yung naiwan. Mm, kaya so, Kai Kai? Parang ano eh. Parang bread. Kai Kai. Yes. Yun, eh. No, no, no. Kai Kai means scratch. Ah, scratch. Kai Kai, my manok. Kala mo ah, mali pala yung turo mo. Kai Kai, may manok akong bukay. Ginpulang ko sa haniway, nagdaog pero patay. Ah, ah dyan pala Kai, yan. Kai may manok akong bukay. Ginpulang ko sa haniway, nagdaog pero patay. Ang galing. Uh, and, ganun na rin mga year na nalo si Pangulong Ramon Magsaysay. Ah, Dahil, uh, say, say, kay, kay. So, maraming nasirang mga the strongest na earthquake na dumaan ng panay. Opo. Kaya maraming yung mga pala yung taon na yun. churches dito ang talagang Nag tapon ano? down. Yun po yung susunod namin eh, mga old churches. Yeah. What is Maragtas, ma? Uh, Maragtas, ginawa na nilang ano, kasi sa Pilipinas, hindi ba inunggo kayo? Hindi po. I ano po, si Buana Tagalog. Si Buana at Tagalog. Kasi sa, when we had our social studies noon, we were elementary, Maragtas uh, Confederation of Panay. Parang hinati yung island of Panay sa sampung datong pumasok na Panay na nag, uh, ano yun, nag, um, they, they escaped their cruel Uh, sultanet mm -hmm. doon sa Borneo at sumakay sila ng ng ano ng malaking balangay uh, malaking bow at dala ang kanilang mga member of the family sampo silang dato dito sila nakapunta sa Panay mm -hmm. the island of Panay kaya nang nabutan nila dito ng Panay yung mga ate mm -hmm. and that's why the story was Binili, ay, uh, gusto na nilang mapaiwan dito sa Panay kasi nagustuhan nilang lugar. Binili nila ang Panay sa mga ate. Yung mm. purchase of Panay, yung golden salakot, at ang long necklace of gold. Apo. Ito, ay, yun pala ito yun. ang picture. <laughs> Actual po yun? Oo. Oh. Galing, no? Tapos, 
hindi sila mag-away-away, hinerte nila yung panay. Kaya si, pa, si Dato Paiburong sa Iloilo, Hantik, Santiki, uh, Sumakwil, at marami pang <laughs> Okay. Galing na memory mo, madam. Na-amaze pa rin kami sa'yo. <laughs> so, Hindi nga namin alam yun. Eh. These are the jars. Still uh, part of the Chinese uh, jars. Oh. And then, malalakiyan. Um, accessories came from the burial place before. At marami kayong ma... One of the findings was the lower jaw of a person with still one tooth preserved oh. because it is wrapped with a bronze. Kaya natira. Samples of Chinese plates uh, uh, decorated with a dragon, with a lotus flower, and a turtle. And this is intended for the father, and for the mother, and for the child. Ah, may ganyan pang ano ah. This Ladihigan has never been reached with the Chinese traders before. So no porcelains you can find, only pots uh, made of clay, and they were here. There are some are made for cooking, and some are for rit rituals. Those two big plates were of Chinese, and the big plate is intended for the, me, uh, the male, and the smaller plate for the female. Pati sa ano, may hierarchy, no? Pati sa plato, galing. first reached by the Augustinian priest. Mm -hmm. The Augustinian priest went um, the Augustinian priest were the first uh, missionaries who came to the Philippines and they were able to uh, um, able to go to these places and they have implanted Christianism mm -hmm. to the uh, Philippines for the yeah, ano, Longos. This one is Panay. Uh, yeah. Uh, that is why uh, here is Panay. Iloilo is colored red because of the presence of the University of San Agustin here in Iloilo. So here is uh, Dimas Island and the British shipwreck was found somewhere here. Okay, so Panay and uh, we have here uh, Negros and Cebu. Okay. Amazing talagang history. Madam, na-amaze mo pa rin kami. <laughs> Maski alam na na. Maski pa ulit ulit talaga na enjoy kami sa ano. Thank you po. Ayan. Galing. So, mahina na rin ang inyong tour, ano no? Yes, ma'am. Uh, our next uh, uh, target are the churches of Iloilo. Gusto talaga po namin tong i-promote kasi in all fairness, ang kalaban lang sa Iloilo brown out pero the rest talagang maganda po Iloilo. Malayong malayo sa compare mo si Bu Manila, lalo na kami galing Manila, ang ingay. Ma ano magulo na. Iloilo Iba na ang ano eh. traffic, uh, no uh, air pollution, no noise pollution. <laughs> kasi fast growing agricultural pa rin kami. Din. Opo, so, opo. Fast growing agriculture. Uh, ang sa inyo naman ay fast growing industrial. 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 Yes. Mm -hmm. with Manila. Opo. Oh. Yung maganda kasi na preserve pa rin ba? Wala oh. sana kaming balak pong ano, bakasyon lang to sa amin last year. Na, no, And dito. Hindi naman po kasi last year pa kami June. So bakasyon lang talaga yon ang sadya. Ano Hanggang kung month tayo pumasok dito last year? Uh, June, June din yun, June. 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 Talagang gumala po kami ah, agad. Ang ang bisita namin last year. Opo. Mm -hmm. Especially nung pag-inagya. Kaya nakaya, nakaipon kami ng medyo malaki. Ayun, wala kami income. Sige, aming sweldo. 
Kasi mga pinagyan naman po. Pero nung dinagyan po, nitong year, wala pa naman po kasi March pa, di ba? Kaya lang, ilan lang yung ano participants ng time na yun? Dalawa, tatlo? Oh, kasi inalis na yung mga video. Na timing naman, may COVID na pala. Talagang blessed po kayo Oo, dito. Oo, na-blessed kami. Taka, taka, taka. Hindi talaga as in daming tao, di ba? Nalala mo? Oo. Sorry, Wala na po gagawin kami na abutan. Hanggang sa, ano, hanggang sa galagitnaan ng Marso, Opo. open po kami. Ah. Pagka uh, half day na, mga 15 na po siguro kami nag-close. Kasi hindi pa na masyado kami na uh, naramdaman. Inform. Mm. So this one is uh, funded by the province. No, na this is a uh, uh, this is a uh, foundation. Foundation. Oh, put up lang ito ng mga prominent people before. Long mm. boss. Tapos marami kami dito mga display, marami na contribute for display. Yeah. Yung mga old mga ano nila sa mga prominent families. Pero pag nag ano nila, kontento na man kinuha. Nag nag, nag patay ng sarili mga museo. Apo, apo. Pero na-preserve namin ito. So, you still remember the name of Madam? Kukunin ko full name ni Madam kasi ipa-flash ko talaga yan buong ano. <laughs> Kukunin ko Madam para hindi ako mali sa spelling.